George Bolt was a self-made wealthy Gilded Age era hotel magnate. He married Louise and to prove his love, he bought Heart Island in the Thousand Island region and started to build a mansion for her. But alas, she died suddenly four years after construction began. Broken hearted, George halted construction and for the next 73 years, the house sat on Heart Island, subject to vandals, animals, and the weather. In 1977, the Thousand Islands Bridge Authority purchases the site and what's left of the house for $1 and commences to restore the house to the point where he left off. However, luckily for us, the construction has actually continued to what George probably had in mind and more. After touring the house, we're ready to see the grounds. I'm the NYC Traveler, and we're at Bolt Castle near Alexandria Bay, New York, in the Thousand Islands region. Heart Island was originally called Hart, H-A-R-T, after the original owner, Eleuthera Hart. Also, in Old British English, a male deer, the stag, was called a Hart, H-A-R-T. George Bolt changed the spelling to represent the love he had for Louise, so you can find hearts and hearts, stags, all over the island for the two traditions. The castle, a mansion really, is built on bedrock, shipped from the Bolts Quarry on Oak Island in the area. There are supposed to be 122 rooms. Judging from the exterior, it looks like it. The outside of the castle is interesting actually, but especially Ulster Tower the playhouse. To us, it resembled Park Güell in Barcelona, ancient, futuristic, as if it were literally from another galaxy and era far, far away. This structure was completed during George's time. Most people assumed it was a playhouse for actual children, and perhaps the Bolts did have future grandchildren in mind since their own children were grown by this time. But it was designed as a fun place for adults to hang out in. The restoration of the tower comes from the news articles and old photos. The tower included a bowling alley, billiard room, kitchen, library, and bedrooms upstairs. Sort of like a close home away from home. Of course, no self-respecting mansion of the Gilded Age era would be without its fountains. The powerhouse is another impressive structure on the grounds. Literally built to provide electricity for the island and the buildings, this was the latest technology back then. Using water, there were generators and engines installed to power up the castle. Up top was the clock and chimes tower, which was connected to a keyboard in the original cottage, if you can imagine that. They were destroyed by fireworks in 1939. After the powerhouse, you can head to the Italian gardens, which emphasizes love and affinity and more hearts. Exterior of the castle, the powerhouse, the gardens, and the rest of the grounds are very lovely and it is very tempting to stroll and stay there and take in the views from all around the island. By the way, Hart Island is not only its name, but its shape. George Bolt actually had the shape of the island changed to a heart. But if you bought a dual ticket, it will be time soon to head to catch one of the shuttles over to Wellesley Island so that you can see the Yacht House.
The shuttles to Wellesley Island run regularly. What you want to pay attention is what time it's coming back so that you make sure that you catch the last one back before you have to catch the shuttle back to the mainland. So you'll be taking two boats, one from Wellesley Island back to Hart Island and one from Hart Island back to whichever mainland you came from. You could only get to Hart Island by boat or ferry, but that's not true for Wellesley Island. Wellesley Island actually is accessible by car. Wellesley Island connects to Wellesley Park, and it also connects to Hill Island, which is in Canada. So make sure that you stay on the correct side of the island and the correct country that you're supposed to be in. If you have your passport, you're good. If not, stay on your side of the block. The Yacht House is actually a museum for boats and yachts. Inside you will find many different boats, many different yachts, little rowboats, and interesting information. If you're not a boat person, you might find out that you like it a little bit better than you thought you would. And if you are a boat person, then this is going to be heaven for you. The original steel, the, the V board, most of that is original. You'll see where they hatched it up. The screw jacks is how they put the boats in and out back then. And so the platform in the fall, they'll lower it and put the sh shuttle on it for the winter. The only boat here that runs is the big one that's up in the air right now because it hasn't been in since COVID started. Okay, and then upstairs is the captain caretaker's residence. Mr. Boat's reception room is up there. There's letters that he wrote to his caretaker in uh, some of the rooms. Upstairs, you will find the caretaker's residence. There's a letter from George Bolt himself. Pay attention to the time. It will soon be time to catch the shuttle back to Hart Island. Between Hart and Wellesley Islands is very quick, but you will appreciate the views from both sides. Make sure you take a look at the Yacht House from one perspective and Bolt Castle from the other perspective. And if you finish touring the castle, it'll be time to catch the ferry back to the mainland. I'm the NYC Traveler and we've been at Bolt Castle in Alexandria Bay, New York in the Thousand Islands region. <music>